So, it's been a while. Depending on who you are, you'll have different feelings about the mere existence of this video. Some of you will wonder if this is the return of spy psychology. Some will wonder what's going on with my Minecraft. Some of you won't have any idea who I am, and to be honest, I don't really know what's going to happen either. But ever since I strayed away from TF2 content back in 2019 and started becoming more Minecraft focused, becoming a Minecraft Realms map maker, which is pretty big if you think about it, I've had many other experiences, but over the past nine months or so, I decided to start playing TF2 again. I've been playing with old friends, new friends, and getting some people into the game itself. And throughout me enjoying TF2 again, I remember why I enjoyed playing the class I main so much. This is why I still love Spy. Personally. It was part way through 2017 when I decided to stop using the Dead Ringer, and oh boy, it made Spy so much more fun for me. The Dead Ringer was more of a panic button than a tool for actually messing with other players, but I like to mess with other players. Once I learned how to escape bad situations with cloak and movement, there was no going back. As much as Spy is often dead the second he's found out, it's incredibly satisfying to just cloak in front of someone and just vanish. <laughs> Whenever I play TF2 with my friends and I'm on the other team as Spy, I've become known for how seemingly the second I turn fully invisible, I just vanish from existence only to show up again 10 seconds later. It's so satisfying to have a player that's actively looking for you lose complete track of you thanks to mind games. Everyone says disguises don't fool good players. Well, I'm gonna say that's complete bullshit. Most of the time, disguises are really obvious because they stick out really badly. And whenever I see a blatantly obvious spy or scout, I know there's a 90% chance of it being a dead ringer. But the moment you actually start acting and getting to the habit of switching disguises, changing weapons, faking reloads, suddenly a whole new path of mind games opens up, and it's so much fun to pull off. I reckon the reason why players say disguises don't work isn't just because most spies don't even try, but also because there are many telltale signs that give away a spy in an instant. If it's so easy to spy check, then why would disguises work? But then we have this clip here, where I'm disguised as Sniper and almost the entire blue team walks right past me and has no idea I'm a spy for a whole 30 seconds. Stop. And these Stop. are good players. Bow, bow, bow. Or this clip, where this medic can see me for a good few seconds, might I add I'm disguised as his heal target, and despite being a player with some experience, just walks right past me. Yeah. Well, I think I know the reason why I was able to fool these players, despite the telltale signs being right there in front of him. It's because players aren't always thinking about spies, and don't always have the time to spy check everyone. In chaotic situations like this, players don't have the time to spy check or even closely observe any players that don't stick out at a glance. They've got other priorities in mind. All you need to do is blend in at a glance, usually no more than a few seconds, and players happily back <gasps> out into you. If you don't stick out, a lot of players don't even bother to spy check at all. Like, if this pyro flamed me for even a millisecond, I would be dead, but they didn't even bother because they wanted to get to the front lines with the power jack, even if switching to the flamethrower to check would have taken them all of like two seconds. And finally, we have this clip that I'm too proud of. So I stabbed this NG and stabbed the sentry, no biggie, except at the last second this ah! demo sees me, so I disguise as sniper and because a sniper would be up here, I pull out his melee and pretend like I also saw that, and I'm also trying to find the spy, and this demo comes around the corner and has no idea that the sniper is actually the spy he saw literally two seconds ago, and even checks the corners away from me so we're checking multiple places at once. I am so ridiculously proud of this play. Whew. Sorry. I've always been someone who's advocated for the fact that disguises actually do work. You just need to know how to make them work. And when it works, it's so, so satisfying. Wow! Ah. This. You know, 
I never even wanted to make a trick stab tutorial in spy psychology because trick stabs are honestly misunderstood by many players. Some people think trick stabs can get you out of any situation, and that it's a goal to be able to aggressively chain stab an entire team. Truth be told, opportunities for trick stabs are rare, and often really easily countered if the player sees it coming in the slightest. There are people who will brag about how good they can trick stab, but there's more to spy than trick stabbing. At the same time, though, trick stabs are probably one of the most embarrassing things to die to, Damn it. just below oh. taunt kills and map hazards. It's funny how arguably the weakest class in the game can instantly win a fight against any other class with one skilled move. A player who thinks you're a free kill suddenly dies thanks to one fatal mistake. And I'll say I'm not immune to this, either. It's incredibly tempting to run at a spy with your melee, knowing he'll die in only two hits, even if he's clearly waiting for you to do it. Trick stabs are so satisfying because normally the spy is just dead upon being found out. But at the same time, there is this really toxic aura around trick stabs and people being pretentious about it. A lot of the time, spies go for trick stabs but forget one key fact. Spy has a gun! What? Ah! Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> So, coming back to TF2, I still enjoy Spy a ton. He's still weak and has balancing issues, but his playstyle is so unique and I love being this everywhere man that could just strike at any moment. There's definitely a lot more to talk about why I love Spy, but these are some of the main reasons I still love the class. Thanks for watching. Hey, before you go, have you wanted to play a Minecraft map or a mod pack uh, on a server for free with your friends? Well, you can. With the Sticky Piston Trials, the link is in the description below. You can also buy a full-on server instead of having it go for a limited time. But even if your timer runs out, you can you can uh, get get a download for the thing. Um, so yeah, uh, that is the end of the sponsorship and this video. Goodbye. Players that don't stick out at a glance. They've got other. Uh, uh, <laughs> fuck.